Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain how I created those insert statements for the database in our unit converter. And uh, let's start off with pressure. This is the tab pressure here. And what I did, I went to uh, convert units on Google and I picked pressure. And then I saw, you know, the sequence of units in here. Those are my from units and that's how I placed them here. And those are my two units and I placed them here. So what I did then, I went through each one. For instance, I started with bar and I started with bar to bar is obviously one. So I had here a one. Then I went bar to Pascal is 100,000. Uh, bar to uh, pound force per square inch. I did that and so on. So I filled those numbers. So and then I created this table here for my SQL. That is supposed to be the ID in the database. Let me just open up the database. So we can see here that's a table and uh, let's pick pressure. And you see here the conversion ID, I've already done it here. I just did a sequence of numbers down to 146. That's all pressure. And then I began creating the insert statement. Now the insert statement is quite a complex formula but I can explain it here what I did basically it's a lot of initially the first part is just uh, putting that string with all the field names in the table and then the values and then the the thing is how do I uh, how do I quickly uh, do because a, a typical insert statement would look like this and so that's how a typical insert statement looks. Insert into the table name, and then you have the fields here, and then you've got the values here. So the first one, the 122, that's pretty easy. That's just concatenating a 12 in this case. But then I need to get all that, the from unit, uh, the, the uh, sorry, the genre, from unit in short, from unit in, um, in long, and then same thing here. And then the, the obviously conversion factor. And that's why I had this formula. And what the way I uh, tackled this problem is I used uh, in Excel, you have a possibility of using uh, so-called R1C1 notation. R1C1 means instead of calling a cell A2 uh, in Excel, you can either call a cell A2 or you can call it uh, row uh, two column one. See, that's, that is called R, R, RC notation or, or, or R1C1 notation. And that's what I used here because, first of all, the from column, that's where those are coming from. That's always 2 because 2 is basically column B. And then here, the bars are row 2, the pascals are row 3, and uh, uh, pound force per square, the PSIs are, are row 4 and so on. And the two column, uh, the two uh, units, well, the first, they're all in the first row. So row, so two rows the same. And the two column changes. So bar to Pascal, a uh, bar to bar is basically column C, which is three. Bar to Pascal is column four, which is basically D and so on. So I created all these numbers here. And the result, the result column and row is basically because these and these are always the same, it's always this and this. So basically the result column for bar to bar is um, column three, which is basically C and row two, which is basically C2. See, and that's how I did those numbers here. And you see here the formula for these is basically this, it's just basically column of the two unit. And this is basically the, um, the row of the from unit. So once I got these, then what I did for each for each value, for instance, for the for for pressure, that was simple. I just inserted the text pressure, and that was taken from here. And but now for this here, this is now this is basically the word bar, the first bar. And what I did is I took the address because when you use you use this notation. Let's let's try it out here so you can see what I what I was doing. Let, let me take this here alone and let's go in here and put it in here. 
So you see, I'm getting the word bar. Now, how does that work? Well, there are two functions. The first function is address. And I'm saying I've got, I know which column I need and I know which row I need, which is basically column two, row two, which is basically here, P2. Give me the address of that. And the address of that, and the address of that is B2, which is right. So I converted the first, the, the address function. Oh, I got here. I don't need that. The address function, what it does, it converts those two numbers to a cell. And that was the first step. Because for me, I input those numbers, like I said, because it's way simpler to input those numbers than having all the cells in here, the cell addresses. So then with the function address, I converted those numbers to the cell address. So I got the right cell, which is B2. And now I need the value in that. And that's why you, you have the function indirect. And you, you indirect requires the cell address. And it gives you the value of that. And that's bar. And that's what I did here. And you see here, that's, that's the bar, the first bar. This one here. Then this one is the second bar, this one here, and so on. And that's how I built uh, that formula. And then what I did, once I have this formula, I just fill it down, and then I just copy that and go back to my database and paste it in the execute SQL, and I would have those rows in there. So that was my method. I can gladly upload this uh, sheet uh, on GitHub and you can download it and you know emulate it or copy it uh, what I, one thing I can't guarantee that all of these are correct because I did them I copied them by hand and you know I went through each conversion and I just copied uh, that number in here and so I cannot guarantee for instance here I see there's this there's a wrong this wrong I forgot the point so that should be actually 0 0.062 so I can't vouch for the numbers, but I can vouch that this creates real insert code, which you can then use in your database. And if you're, I, I just did pressure and speed. If you're interested in the others, it's, prob, it's, it's basically the same procedure. You got to start, for instance, data, data transfer rate. You got to start and list all those things in this column and all those things in this row. And then what you gotta do is go one by one, each one, and just get those conversion factors in this, in this matrix, basically. And then just with this formula, you can just basically create your insert code. This is not uh, necessary to know. I just, that is just my way of handling this issue because I was not going to create, to manually create all that insert code on my own. And for such instances, I find Excel is a pretty nifty tool to create such code. So that was my method. If you have other methods, just, just share them in the feedback below. And obviously you can also write a Python or, or, or whatever application to create that. But I find with Excel, you can very easily and very simply create that code. Obviously you've got to know your way around Excel with the functions and so on, but I find it's still way faster. If you know these functions, it's way faster and way more efficient than you know having to write an application to generate that SQL code. Um, like I said, I'm gonna upload this um, in, the, in GitHub and you can then check it out and you know basically use it as you wish or improve on it uh, do whatever you want with it